Before we start, is the irony lost on me that we need content that explains how to enjoy a video game? No. Is this a ridiculous situation? Yes. Do I think the video is still worth making? Absolutely. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Ladies and gents, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy. This is Battlefield 5. Uh, the diversification with Call of Duty Warzone is not going well. Uh, <laughs> getting YouTube to recommend your videos when your subs don't watch it to begin with. Well, it doesn't really work, but, uh, but I get it. You guys are here for Battlefield so we're still going to throw some of this out sometimes. It's not your fault. It's just the nature of the beast. So the footage today is of me going around trying to get bayonet kills with some normal melee stuff thrown in as well for flavor for reasons that will become clear when I start listing off how to play the game and have fun because some of this video is about how to increase your enjoyment by playing properly and some isn't uh, by it's by playing like an idiot to be honest because look the game's been out for a bit and uh, and it's a struggle. Many of us know this but some people still want to play the game uh, but they can't really see a reason to. Uh, maybe they have friends that still want to play the game, they want to play with them, but they don't feel inspired to. Or maybe other games just don't grab you like Battlefield does, but this latest one isn't grabbing you the way that other ones have. Lots of grabbing. I'll grab you. Uh, if, <laughs> if, you if you're already enjoying the game, then that's great. You know, just whatever. Just enjoy the video and it's fine. But if you're not, I got your back. So I got my brain in gear and thought about how I still get some enjoyment out of the game sometimes and brainstormed a few other ideas to put together 10 semi-serious but also kind of humorous tips to still enjoy Battlefield 5 way after release now and still with a sizable chunk of time until we get the next one. And if you can't tell, no, this is another video that isn't scripted. I just have 10 bullet points written down, so if it's anything weird, you, you know why. So tip number one is set yourself dumb challenges. Look, sometimes we just don't want to play properly. It's just the way it is. Maybe you feel like the game isn't balanced right or, you know, you just there's too many problems, but you still want to kind of enjoy the game. It's fine. Go out there and have some fun as you're seeing me do in the footage today. You probably won't do well, that's perfectly okay sometimes. Like as you're watching, I try to do bayonets and melees. Uh, what other ideas can I come up with off the top of my head? Let's go for explosive only. Uh, every time you die, have a shot of vodka. Uh, uh, don't do that if you're underage, please. That'd be a terrible idea. And I'll get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Thank you. Uh, what, <laughs> what about every time you get a kill, you text one of your friends something you don't like about them? Or drop dynamite into your vehicle and then jump out and blow it up when it goes past people? Make an ambulance. I've done that. Got a video on that. Put your heel crates onto a vehicle. Drive it around like an ambulance healing people. That was really fun. Whatever it may be, just try to have a good time. That's the main thing, people. Enjoy yourself. Onwards, tip number two. Don't take it too seriously. This is kind of linked to the last one, but in a less sort of like ridiculous fashion. Really try to focus on just having fun. I know that's difficult now. We're very much in this culture of games. You know, they kind of matter to a lot of people. We want to do well. It's hard not to rage sometimes. Multiplayer online gaming has built up this sense of, you know, really trying to do well. Not for everyone, but for more people than before. There's less of a focus on just the experience and the enjoyment. And this is a tip I can take on board way more so as well. Try to take in the actual experience, as well as, you know, trying to actually perform decently. If you die, it is, and I know this is the thing that Ninja complained about when I think about it, but it is just a game. If you're not playing competitively, just try to see the positives. And playing with friends helps with that a lot. It's a lot less annoying to get demolished playing with friends than playing on your own. You can laugh about it or pass it off as you have a chat about what spaghetti you ate last time or whether you see the same red as someone else because maybe you see red and they see blue but you both call it red. You ever thought about that? Do you see the world anything like other people do? We, we really don't have much of an answer for that, I don't think. If we do, let me know. That would be interesting. And then I can benefit from this video as well. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, if things don't go well, accept it, move on, enjoy and I don't know, blame it on the gods of gaming trying to level the playing field because you're just so naturally talented obviously. Tip number three, focus on the end result. Look, if you do want to play properly, focus on the end result of what you're doing rather than the minutia or small little events to lead up to it. If in a four minute period you die five times and feel like you don't really achieve anything, think about maybe how you were doing the right thing by trying to push, by maybe going at an unseen angle, whatever it may be, and then it just didn't work out on this occasion, but it was the right play to make. It was the right percentage play. And in another circumstance, maybe it would go way better. Maybe all of these things are helping you to get better it anyway. Sometimes doing badly teaches you more than doing well. A lot of enjoying a game, especially when a game is, uh, let's say, not particularly well optimized, like Peter 5, but you still want to play it, is working on your own psychology. And I know that sounds crazy that you've got to work your own psychology out to enjoy a game. Look, if you really hate the game, just don't play it. I mean, that's very simple. But if you do want to enjoy it, having the right mindset can help. A positive outlook, a way to make things better in your own mind. And so doing the right things for the right end result, especially if you end up getting that end result, 
in the end. Lots of end in that sentence. Matters more and is the real focus rather than the individual events that lead up to it, of which maybe some of them didn't go well. So don't punch that desk like I always do. Don't kick that cat like I never do. Please don't do that. And don't scream at people out the window unless they totally deserve it, because some people's neighbours are really annoying. Tip number four, play for the team. Kind of linked to the last one, but more specifically, it's not all about you and your individual performance. This is a team-based game, so maybe it'll work out better for you if you focus on the team more so. Maybe you usually get a 2kd, but then you have a game where you go 1.1 or something, but you healed up loads of your bud buds around you. Never gonna say bud buds again, that was really weird. Maybe you helped to get that win. Maybe you did lots of covering people's back and you didn't get any points for it or anything like that, but you know you did the right thing. You helped your team to achieve something. Focus on the team, focus on the win, focus on the sound of my voice telling you to follow me on all social media and buy all of my merchandise. Focus on the fact that I'm a literal Jedi and you now actually have to do that due to mind control. Tip number five, improve one aspect of your game at a time. This is a massive tip regardless of why you're playing the game, whether you enjoy the game, don't, want to enjoy it, enjoy it a bit, whatever it may be. If you want to do better at the game, try to focus on one aspect of your play, nail that and then move on to the next one. Because you know when you see those tip videos giving you lots of ideas on how to improve, I've made some of them as well and there's many different things in there. If you go onto the game and try and do all of them at once, it's going to be a mess. You, you can't retain all that information, you can't focus on everything at once, you can't improve everything at once. You know if you play a sport and you want to focus on improving, say it's basketball, you want to improve your jump shot, you put some time into that. You don't go, well today I'm going to improve my jump shot and I'm going to improve my passing and my handling and my game sense and my, you know, you can't do it all. It's not possible. That's why you have specific drills in sports, to really nail down aspects of what you're doing. Do that in a game as well. If you want to focus on aiming for the head more, do that. If you want to focus on centering your crosshairs more, do that. If you want to focus on improving your movement, do that. But don't try and do it all at once, at least not, you know, consciously doing everything to the utmost degree all at once. Nail specific aspects and seeing these improvements for individual things will keep things ticking over for you and improve your enjoyment, if you're wired that way. Tip number six, rotate weapons. If you're one of those people that uses the same gun all the time and then you're complaining the game's not fun anymore, well maybe it's partly to do with you. Just a little bit. It could be the game, but you gotta look at yourself as well. Maybe you got a thing you like to use and you think that's what you like to use, but actually you're really burnt out on it at this point and you haven't really tried other things for a while. I can 100% vouch for this, by the way, from playing a different game. I play Destiny 2 for fun when I'm not making content and at the minute on that, I've been trying to use a shotgun and a sidearm when for years, I've been a sniper and that's where my main skill set is. But it's proving to be enjoyable. I'm not doing as well, but I'm improving my skill set, having a new experience and enjoying each day as it comes doing different stuff. And I'm really focusing on using these shotguns and sidearms at the minute because as in the last tip, you got to try to improve one thing at a time or at least a limited number of things. Otherwise, you're not going to see the same advancements. Your brain's going to get all muddled. Kind of like me when I do these commentaries and I have to cut loads of stuff out because a lot of it is absolute garbage. Tip number seven, go through the assignments. Yes, some of them are really stupid. Yes, I avoid a lot of them, but some of them are decent. So maybe just work your way through them steadily. That might keep you focused and enjoying things a bit, give you new stuff to do. Maybe again, teach you to learn different weapons or use different skill sets. But uh, I won't blame you, of course, if you avoid the ones that are like, get five kills standing on your head, talking to Stacy's mom and, and firing your weapons into the sky. You know, that's, that's not reasonable, Dice. We don't want these dumb ones that are counterintuitive to actually using the weapons you're telling us to use. Like, get 20 headshots in around with this gun on the objective. Like, oh, do me a favor. Do you want me to camp and have no fun and not play for the team? It's turning into a rant now, isn't it? The assignments need changing, but but go and do some of them. There you go. Long story short. That was good. Tip number eight, switch to infantry slash vehicles. If you always play infantry and you're bored, maybe try the vehicles. If you always play vehicles and you're bored, maybe try the infantry. This is a genius idea. I know you're all, you're all clapping. I can hear you now around the world applauding this genius statement, but just give it a go. I know someone out there is going to be like, well, get good. Maybe you should do that as well. Well, maybe you should shush. All right, cool. Tip number nine, take breaks. If you're getting angry, stop playing. If you want to play a different game, play a different game. If you want to play a different mode, play a different mode. If you never want to play the game again, never play the game again. It's up to you, but sitting there raging for four hours straight, mate, it's not going to help anyone. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help your neighbors or your family who can hear you, probably. Don't be embarrassing. It's not going to help your teams. You're going to play poorly. People don't play well when they're tilted, generally. I could explain all that with brain chemistry, but it's, you know, I'm sure you believe me. We make irrational decisions when we're
were angry, okay? Like when I go on Twitter and complain about the game for two hours. <laughs> we can all make improvements, so take breaks when you need to take breaks. And tip number 10, view it all as mental strengthening. <laughs> yep, playing Battlefield 5 can be viewed as improving your mental fortitude. If you can do this, you can do anything. You gotta believe in yourself. As a good friend of mine says, Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything wise words from a very wise being and those are my 10 tips some of them serious some of them definitely not for enjoying battlefield 5 in 2020 and i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave me a like it honestly makes a difference i really do appreciate it if you're new here please do consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay up to date with the massive amount of content i've been putting out and will continue to put out and all the links to my social media including patreon can be found in the description and my pinned comment. Here is to Board of Awesome for the epic people who already support me on Patreon. They're all absolute heroes and I love them all deeply and of course, often. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. And with that all said, I am Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time, laters. And I think the much lower usage numbers, while still being visibly present on the battlefield, reflects this. Now resulting in my current grading of a B-, which I personally think is totally fair, and I would rather use something like the Thompson. Which means that in its short life so far, the Type 2A has gone from a top popularity meta A-plus choice 